ตาแนง Okay, um, today we are doing um, another part of one of the most viewed uh, videos on the channel. That is the slow feeding test. So the first grinder that we did, the slow feed test, was on the King Grinder K6. So for today's video, we are doing the slow feed test with the Easy Presso Q Air. Right. So to start with the test, um, we're gonna need a scale grinder, coffee, proof sifter, of course, dosing trays. I also need my iPad. Um, let's start right away. So we need our control. So our control would be the one that we did not change anything. So. We're going to use uh, 15 grams for this test. Now the setting that we're going to use, since we used um, 23 across the board in the previous tests, um, 23 on the Comandante, so that would be number 23 on the QR. So we zero in. Okay, that's our zero. And then... One rotation is 10. Two rotations is 20. 21, 22, 23. All right. We're also going to time it so that... Let's start. Okay, we finished at 34 seconds. Okay, now we're going to use the crew sifter to check the particle distribution. Right, we're gonna time that as well, of course. So in the crew sifter, we have 1,100 microns and 300 microns and below. So we are measuring for the microfine particles, but I'm guessing we should do the um, boulders and the mids as well, so that we hit two birds with one stone. Right, so 15 grams in. We're gonna time 30 seconds for this and start. Okay, that is 30 seconds. First, we're gonna check the um, boulders. Yeah, I think the Q Air has a really nice um, particle consistency. It looks very uniform. That is 7.6. We're doing the mid size. So there. And we have 7 grams. Okay, and now here is the microfine particles of the QR. Okay, and we have 0.3. Now we're gonna weigh another 15 grams, but this time this is going to be our first um, slow feed test. So the first um, slow feed test that we're gonna do is we is we are going to literally put the coffee um, bit by bit. Let's start. Yeah, um, if you haven't seen my video about the K6 slow feeding test about the K6, I'm gonna put the link right here so that you can watch that. Mind you, I'm trying to um, finish this as fast as I can. But we finished 205. Right, now we're gonna load it onto the um, proof sifter. Okay, and then let's start. 30 seconds. Thirty, alright. Okay, the boulders look um, 
very good quality again. They're very uniform, but we have more. Right, we have 8.4. Okay, now we're gonna measure for the midsize. And look at the microfine particles. By the way, the midsize is 6.4. That is point Point two, point two grams. So we have less uh, microfine particles, and the particle distribution completely changed. We're gonna do our third and final um, slow feed test. Our second kind of slow feeding test is we're gonna do the tilting action. So we're gonna grind in this um, orientation. And then we're gonna tilt it once in a while so that um, we let the coffee gra ah, coffee beans onto the bird. Right. Let's start. Wow. Okay, that is a lot faster than the first slow feed test. So we finished 118. Now we're gonna load this onto the crew sifter. And then we can finally have our conclusion. Again, um, very good um, grind quality from the Q-Air. Okay, that is 30 seconds. Again, we're gonna check the boulders first. Right. Wow, okay. It's different again. It's 7.2. We have 7.2 grams. Even less than the first, than our control. Even less than our control, the original one. Right, now we're gonna wait for the midsize. Right. Um, that is 7.2. And here is the microfine particles of the second slow feed test, right? Okay, we have 0.2. Okay, now we have our final numbers. So, of course, the fastest would be the normal way of grinding, but... It's amazing how, how the particle distribution changed when we did the slow feed test. So the first slow feed test when we when we um, slowly put a couple of beans at a time, we actually created more boulders than mid-size. But it has less uh, microfine particles than the um, than the normal way of doing it. So, for the second slow feed test, when we did the tilting action like that, it's way faster. It's, we finished at 1 minute and 18 seconds compared to 2 minutes of the slowly putting it in. But we have, um, we have nice um, particle distribution. So, if you think about it, we have actually we, we actually have equal parts of boulders and midsize plus minimal uh, microfine particles. So that's great. So if you have a Q Air at home and you want to improve your um, the taste of your coffee, I think I think. Um, you should try the tilting action. You're gonna get less microfines and equal parts of the boulders in midsize, but I won't recommend you doing the like slowly hand feeding the coffee beans, like a couple of coffee beans at a time and then grinding it and then putting another batch. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. But yeah, it works on the Easy Presso Q Air. Yes. 
So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about, oh, um, in the next videos, we're gonna do more um, grinders. I have a Time War C3 right now with me. So someone lent it to me. My Actually, my best friend lent it to me. So we're gonna have a chance to play with the Time War C3. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!